Hello, you're watching a SEO content machine next tutorial video. Today I'm going to go over the download article tool and uh, it's the third item here from the menu, so download article and you want to click on new article downloaded to get it going. So what this tool will do is you feed it a file with a bunch of URLs and it's going to visit each of those URLs and extract content from it. And it's extracting the content using CSS rules, so for example by default, it's going to select all the content in H1 and H2 tags and anything in the P paragraph tag. To fine-tune results, you can also remove certain HTML tag results. And um, you also have other processing options such as um, saving the final result in plain text. You can, of, of course, translate the article and you can also rewrite the article. And there's also a regex find and replace tool. So let's go over uh, these settings in more detail. So. First, you have the job name, which is by default given to you. Next, I need to feed a URL file. So I'm going to click on Browse, and uh, here's one I created earlier. If I want to edit it, I just click the Edit button. I'm going to leave the CSS selector settings by default. I'm not intending on removing any HTML tags from the final content, but you may wish to do so. The save location by default is going to go to the project folder. I am going to click on the remove HTML so you can see what it does. By default all your content is saved with the HTML intact. If you require that the HTML is removed then you can select this option here and uh, there's also another setting paragraph wrap tag which means you can remove all the HTML but rewrap what's uh, left in just paragraph tags if you want or any other form of HTML. Finally you have the article translator and the article rewriter which will run on the content just a note about tra translation and the rewriting. Uh, some translators don't like it when you feed them HTML. Most of them are pretty okay. Similarly with the HTML, HTML uh, if you're running it through an article rewriter, some rewriters accept HTML content, some don't. Finally, uh, we have to replace words. So any content that's saved to your hard drive uh, before it's actually written down, um, you can choose to replace uh, words with other words that you choose. Uh, we have a tutorial on the replace words tool that goes more in depth over these settings that you can find on our YouTube channel. Now at the bottom here is the test CSS selector. Sometimes you don't know what content is going to be retrieved. So here's an area where you can test it. Now if you just click test download it's going to give you this error. You need to enter a test URL. So what that means is that it's not going to read this file. You actually need to paste in the URL. So what I'm going to do is click edit and it's going to allow me to copy a URL in my file then I need to actually paste it. Now it's actually going to use the CSS selectors and the remove HTML tags to do your preview. So I'm going to do a test download. So this is what it's found, PH1P and you can see all the tags that's been retrieved. So in this example let's say I only want to retrieve just header tags and I want to see what that looks like. So I'm going to click on the test download button and yes, I'm just only going to get watch tags in my final article result. Once I'm happy with my settings, click save or click run and it's going to process your URL file. So I'm going to give you an example of what that looks like by hitting the run button. Clicking on my task here so it opens up the task log window. It's found 101 URLs in our source file and you can see it's reading each URL, writing it to my hard drive as it goes along. Normally if you have errors with the task running, the task log is a good place to start looking to troubleshoot what's happening. If you have any questions, feel free to leave a comment in the video comment area below. Otherwise, you can reach me anytime by sending an email, info at seocontentmachine.com. Thank you very much.